Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and today in this video I'm going to be discussing about an up and coming UFC which is 298 and as you can see I've got the the whole main event of the fights coming up this Sunday and I'm going to go discuss like every single fighter and uh, just tell you what my predictions are for the fight. So, the first one is gonna be Anthony Hernandez and Roman Kopolov. So Anthony Hernandez is, as you can see, 11 and two. Roman Kopolov is 12 and two. I'm not too sure anything about these two fighters at all. I would probably say so, Anthony Hernandez to win the fight. Hopefully he doesn't de get tested positive marijuana. I'm not too sure how to pronounce this. Marab Lishvili. Henry Sahudo. Similar record, except for one last difference. Uh, Henry Sahudo. Despite that, he went five rounds with... Aldermaine Sterling and knocked out TJ Dillashaw and Marlon Henry Cejudo winning this fight. If he loses, he's gonna he's gonna retire from fighting. So the next fight is Jeff Neal versus the Cook himself, Ian Gary. As you can see, Ian Gary undefeated. Jeff Neal 15 and 5. Ian Gary's last five was a Last fight was, I think, against Neil Magny. And Ian Gary won all three rounds, got the decision win. And now he is fighting Jeff Neal. I don't want Ian Gary to win, but he will actually figure out how to win. So Ian Gary's going to win. Next one is Rob Whitaker and the Paolo Pasta, who is probably juiced up. As you can see, secret juice. So... We know where he would have learnt it off. It would have been off of Israel Adesanya and probably John Jones because both of them were on the, either PEDs or roids. Paulo Costa's last fight was back in 2021. Um, or 2022. Yeah, 22. He won via decision. So that's over a year he hasn't f and pretty much lost his last two out of three fights, which is not good. I think Whitaker has a better chance to win against Costa because Whitaker had fought Duplessis, which was a tough fight for him. So I'm going to say Whitaker via knockout. And then the main event, Alexander Volkanovsky and the Conor McGregor wannabe Ilya Tapora. I'm going to be saying Volkanovsky. I'm not saying that because I live in Australia. It's just that I think Whitaker is just... Not Whitaker. Volkanovski is just a better fight, uh, better cardio, better power. But with Ilya Tapora, who has he really fought? With the Josh Emmett, one via decision, couldn't finish him. Um, and finished Bryce Mitchell. He, um, Ilya Tapora, that level's level above Volkanovski. It's just that with... Ilya Tapura, he managed to outstand Josh Emmett in the fight. Josh Emmett had lost via submission against Yeri Rodriguez to get the fight with uh, Volkanovski. Yeri Rodriguez won via submission in round two, as you can see on the screen. And Josh Emmett managed to finish Bryce Mitchell quicker. If Ilya Tapura cannot finish Josh Emmett, but Yeri Rodriguez can finish Josh Emmett. Ilya Tapura doesn't even have a chance to be Volkanovski, in my opinion. And Ilya Tapura is going to have a one in that loser spot. And Volkanovski is going to be and still. Those are my predictions for the UFC 290 event. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And see you guys in the next video. See ya.